Hey audience, my name's Toothless, and today I'm going to be reviewing Fury, a fast-paced twin-stick shoot-em-up bullet hell fighting game. The main name of the game is to battle and defeat the boss that stands in your way. To do this you have four main abilities, slash, dodge, shoot and parry. Both you and your enemy have health bars, the first to deplete, dies, simple as that. Each fight has several phases, as depicted by the squares underneath the health bar of the boss at the top right of the screen. Fights get progressively more difficult, and each phase is usually broke down into two parts. The part you're seeing now, more of a free roam arena brawler, followed by a close corner battle in a small circle. Although these rules change several times throughout the game. If you really want to master the game, parrying is probably your most important tool. Not only does it block the boss's attack, but it also gives you some health back, which is essential to surviving a fight. One thing that I have found with this game is it does seem very fair. If I make a mistake, I know it was me. It doesn't feel like the game's ever screwing me over. This game really is so much fun. I've currently clocked about 20 hours on it and I'm definitely going to be playing more. There are three difficulty levels available. Promenade, for people who probably haven't played this type of game before and may need a helping hand. Fury, the recommended setting, and Furier, which only unlocks when you've completed the game on the Fury difficulty. So there's loads of content to keep you busy. And just so you know, the Fury difficulties are actually really tough and a huge step up. Don't take them lightly. I have another name for this game. I like to call it Boss Battle the Game because in essence that's actually all there is to it. There's a total of 10 different bosses to kill across 10 different islands with the cutscene in between each filled with beautifully shot cinematics. Whilst these cinematics takes place, you get story progression by a man in a rabbit mask. And yes, I did say a man in a rabbit mask, but I tell you what, he's probably the coolest character you've seen in any game for quite some time. Speaking of the look and feel of Fury, any fans of Afro Samurai may have already noticed some similarities. This game was designed by Takashi Okazaki, and personally I just love the art style. In a weird kind of way, I also appreciate the fact that in my mind, I feel like if The Stranger did have a voice, it'd be voiced by Samuel L. Jackson, which really just gives me a sense of fun. In all seriousness though, I think this game really has a great aesthetic, and the art style really builds onto the world. On top of this, the soundtrack is just immense. I'm going to be quiet for just a moment and boost up the music just so you can appreciate it a bit better. This particular track is called Your Mind, composed by Carpenter Brute. The entire score runs with this electro theme, composed by several different artists. Fury is an independent game developed by a small team called The Game Bakers, who state, We make games like we cook food, with a lot of love. We want to create that experience that you remember, that makes you feel alive and energised. Fury definitely fulfils the idea of feeling alive and energised. This is The Game Breaker's first title of its kind, where it usually it only branches out into the mobile focused markets such as Android, iOS and even creating games for the 3DS. I'm already anticipating the next game. At this point, it's not been announced, but I'm really looking forward to it. Fury is currently only available on PlayStation and PC via Steam, although I believe an Xbox port is coming out soon. If you are planning on getting this game on PC, it's worth noting that the keyboard and mouse are not going to be your best friends here. It's not because the game doesn't work on them, it's just it doesn't feel as comfortable. I've played this game using both the Xbox controller and the Steam one. Now I found the Xbox controller to be far better, purely because the right hand analogue stick for me was much more comfortable and I felt my accuracy increased so much more, but it's really down to personal preference here. The price of Fury on Steam is €24.99, €24.99 US dollars, and €18.99 Great British Pounds. So, should you be buying Fury? Well, if you like difficult and challenging games, if you like bullet hell style games, fighting games, or even any games where you have to combo with such ability that you could be screaming your head off by the end of the fight. This game is definitely for you. If you like screaming like this, <laughs> or like this, Fuck sake! then this game is definitely for you because it will really test your skill. I honestly couldn't recommend this game more. I've had so much fun playing it. I feel like Fury's release kind of slipped under the radar. Not many people knew about it when it came out, which is why I'm sharing it with you now. Hopefully you can get the same level of enjoyment as I got out of it, and I'm sure you will. It's clear to me how much passion the game bakers had for Fury, and the end result is clear. As gamers, it's rare for us when a development company loves their game so much, so we should really treasure that fact. If you've got this far, thank you so much for watching. This is my first video in hopefully many, so if you have any comments, criticism, Anything that could help me get better in any way, shape or form, please do let me know in the comments below. 
If you like the video, hit the like button. It means so much for me. And if you really like the video, if you could subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Or share it with your friends. If there's anything you'd like me to talk about, or any questions you have, or any games you'd like me to review, once again, drop them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Toothless, and this has been my review of Fury.